They say the battlefield is haunted by those who died there. Being a collection of cyborgs, robots, and augmented mutants, I'm not sure if the war drones even have souls. Of course, if they did, then I hope they always remember their defeat at his hands, at Adam's hands. It's been 18 years since that day when one stood against an army, and Cybertron defeated the war drones. I had a front row seat to it, watching the action through Adam's helmet camp. Who am I exactly? The name's Sebastian Connor, and Adam Steele, or as he's known better to the rest of the world, Cybertron, is my best friend. My job was to be his mission control, guiding him via computer in the lab our father set up when they created the engineering magnum opus that was Cybertron. Truthfully, I resented being stuck in this support role. It never sat right with me that Adam had to do all the fighting, had to do all the heavy lifting, even if Cybertron was that powerful. I wanted nothing more than to fight alongside him. Our fathers worked together on Project Iron Sheet, the government program that created the war drones. We became like brothers as a result of it. It was a good thing after my dad died and Uncle Tyler disappeared. Thank God for Master Tao, a family friend who taught Adam and I martial arts. With our father's demise, he became our guardian, raising us alongside his own daughter, Mia. The as thieves, the three of us, which is why it hurts so much to leave Mia out of the loop. Not our best call, given what happened. It was Master Tao who told us about the work our fathers had done on Iron Shield and how they entrusted him with Cybertron's secret and our roles in what was to come. Speaking of Iron Shield, it really did seem like a good idea at the time. A platoon of robotic warriors that could be sent into heavy combat zones and try to spare the lives of the brave men and women who serve our country. Again, a good idea on paper. But Richter fooled the Pentagon and subverted the war drones for his own ends. Richter. I still marvel at the fact he was willing to experiment on himself to the way he did, all in the name of cheating death. I wonder if him becoming the grotesque monstrosity that is Grimlord was part of his master plan. I wonder if he ever looked in the mirror while he was transformed. <laughs> Probably would have shattered it into a million pieces. Still, regardless of whether he was Cyrus Richter, CEO of Crossworld Technologies, or Grimlord, the mutated leader of the War Drones, he was a threat to all humanity, and Cybertron was our only defense, the sole weapon we had. Grimlord may have been the brains of the operation, but he never left his lair. Why get your hands dirty when there's plenty to do it for you? 